Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an AliExpress haul. I have been kind of falling behind on these and now of course they're starting to pile up on my desk. So I got a big bag of stuff. I'm just going to haul them right away so I can put it away right away. So um, a lot of this stuff is still Halloween related because um, I think I ordered this stuff like in the middle of October. So it took about three weeks to get here, so, which is amazing. So I just, yeah, I just want to say that it's a lot of Halloween stuff, but hope you enjoy it anyway. So I'm going to start with the charms and beads I got. So first ones I have are these Halloween or jack-o'-lantern beads in the orange and white. They have kind of like a menacing face to them. I love them. And I'm still working on Halloween projects, so it's totally fine <laughs> that I'm still getting Halloween stuff. So these ones come in a purple and like a brown color as well. But if you buy the mix and you just specify that you only want the white and orange, they will totally accommodate. Next, I found these beads. Now these ones aren't Halloween. They are beautiful kind of faceted crystal heart beads. Look at these and they have like an iridescence to them. They're absolutely gorgeous and they come in all these different colors. I love them. They're bigger than I thought. <laughs> I really need to learn to look at the measurements <laughs> before I buy things. But anyway, next I found these beads. They come in the pink and kind of like this ivory color. These are happier jack-o'-lantern faces as you can see. So so cute. These are also wood but they're really light for wood which is awesome. But um, the faces are I think whoop, <laughs> not painted but I think I'm gonna go over them with like a black marker or something so they just stand out a little bit more. And then I got these beads. So these ones are like a spider web pattern and I got them in the pink and in the black. Look how cool. Love these. And I think these are 12 millimeter, I believe. Next I got this necklace and it's really cool. It's a really large necklace with some acrylic ghosties. So I love buying like Halloween jewelry because I find that the charms and the pendants that come with it are different from the charms that you can buy. So these ones come with 10 different ghosties. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen some dyes that look exactly like them, which is really interesting, but they have like an iridescence to them. Oops, sorry for the glare. So I thought that was really cool. Next, I found these black butterflies. They're like that kind of meshy material, almost like nylon. So I'm actually using these to make moths 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 <laughs> and I'm gonna try to recreate them into bats as well I'm gonna see if that's a possibility but that's what I'm gonna be using them for because you know I think moths are better than butterflies for Halloween and bats are even better than moths <laughs> the next charms I found were these tiny little witch on a broomstick I mean, you can see here, compared to the size of my pinky nail, she is really, really tiny. And she only came in the silver. I wanted her in the gold, but I think I'm going to try to either paint her or use like a color marker or maybe even like embossing powder to make it gold. So these Halloween cabochons are so cute and they're actually... A little bit smaller than I thought which is totally fine I have no problems with that but again I should really look at measurements <laughs> when I buy things but here are the ones that come in this pack I just grabbed the mix and I 
got two of each. I absolutely love the kitty cats. Next, I found these double loop bows. I bought these in different colors previously. I just never bought the black. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I don't have black? <laughs> How is that possible? So, of course, I grabbed the black. So here is another pair of earrings and they have candy corns on them or they're made of candy corns. Look how cute these are. They're good size too. And they kind of feel like rubber, which I thought was kind of cool. So I'm going to have to either use a bale or drill a hole for these ones because obviously the hole is on the bottom. Oh my goodness, it's not focused. There you go. But these two have the holes on top, which is good. You get six because there's a strand of three each. And then I also got these earrings. Now, these are so cute. You probably recognize him. He's Sam from the Trick or Treat movies. So cute. And he even comes with his half jack-o'-lantern. I don't know, it's a lollipop I think he carries. How cute are those? And they're really light, which is nice. Next charms I found were these silver skull key charms. Look how cool those look. Love the detail. And again, I'm still working on Halloween, so a lot of these will come in handy. Here I have some jack-o'-lantern charms and they are these really cool orange and black and white. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, almost like a, a voodoo or like a witch doctor. And then I grabbed these ones. These are gold witches and they have, well they're holding an orange broom and they have a black hat. Good size. Next, I have this necklace. So this is, again, has different charms. And I have it completely knotted up. <laughs> anyway, spiders look like that. It's a really good size and I haven't seen anything like it. Also, the chain can be used, if I, you know, if I wanna make like a chunky charm, for example. So it has dual uses, which is cool. The next beads I found were these cylindrical beads. I bought these previously in different colors. I just never bought the black and white. I, I love these because they, they already have that black and white look so you don't have to, you know, create it. It's just there and you just have to put on a dangle. And then here I have some mice or rat charms. I don't know. But they're super cute. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe they're too cute to be rats. <laughs> And the tail's too too short. I think rat tails are much longer. But I thought they were super cute and it says Halloween. And then these ones are the tiny little jack-o'-lantern charms. I bought the ghosties and I decided not to get the jack-o'-lanterns. And of course, I went back and grabbed the jack-o'-lanterns because they're so cute. Next, I have some of these sequins. So these are really, really big stars, like bigger than any stars I have in my stash. I think they might actually be slightly too big, but I don't know. I'll use them for something else. <laughs> they have holes in them. I don't know if you can see that, but they have holes in them, so they can actually be easy to be made into a dangle. So I grabbed the pink iridescent and the lime green iridescent. They also sent this as a gift, which was really nice. Oh, I have some more charms. So these ones are so cute. They are a gold jack-o'-lantern. I believe I have the silver. I love the gold. And you get a bunch, I think 20 pieces. 
And then I found these amazing resin ghosties. I'm a sucker for ghosts. I love ghosts. I think they're my favorite thing about Halloween. And they look like this. Look how cool. So they do come with a little, little hole so you can make them into dangles if you want to. I love these. I'm going to be using them as dangles and as flatbacks. They're just so cute. Next, I found a stencil of jack-o'-lantern faces. Hopefully you can see that. Probably not. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. So I thought this would be cool to use to embellish gift bags. Generally is what my idea was. <laughs> but I'll think of something else too. But these are really cool. They come with one, two, three, four, five, seven different faces. Next, I have these striped beads. They are eight millimeter. And I love the striped, so I grabbed them in the black and white, the orange, the hot pink, and the baby pink. And then I got a mix as well just so I have some of the green and some of the yellow. I think those thing might come in handy. So here I have some medicine containers. These are so cute because they are not see-through and they're completely pink all the way around. And they're really small containers, but quite deep and they snap on really nicely. I didn't realize that I would get two. I thought it was just one, so great deal. <laughs> Next, I found these little resin bows. I love resin bows. I have so many different kinds, but I didn't have this one in my stash. So when this one popped up on my, you know, recommended list or whatever it is that they send you, I'm like, yep, I need to get those. next charms I have are these really cute metal matte black bat charms. <laughs> I'm hoping that's focusing. No, it's not. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Look how cute those are. The only thing is the hole is in one of the wings, so it's going to like hang out this way, but that's okay. I really like them. And then some of the dies I grabbed. This one here is a super cute haunted house. It's smaller than most of the haunted house dies I have. It's just one piece and I just thought it would be super cute for like embellishments. So it's got some bats on the roof and it looks like the windows cut out so then you can back it with a different color. Next I found this cute little flower cart I like the small size of this because a lot of the cart dies I have are like massive or like, you know, bigger. And I like the small size of this one. It's just one piece that's got like a little banner and it comes with a heart. Super cute. I found this very cool background die. It is of the jack-o'-lantern faces. I love this. They come with, I think, eight different faces, I think. And really nice size as well. Next, I have these pumpkin dies. These are really cool. They are shakers. So you can see here, there's the base and then there's the frame that makes the shaker portion of it. Or, if you don't want to make it into shaker, you can just make them into layered pumpkins. And if you don't want them as layered pumpkins, you can just have the pumpkin shape. And do your own layering or do your own, you know, um, distressing and making it 3D. Whatever you want to do. Lots of options. Here I have a really cute die set. I actually used this one for a project. And I actually also gifted this one to a friend of mine because I thought it was just absolutely adorable. I absolutely love this ghosty here, but it also comes with an owl, a tombstone, jack-o'-lantern skull, 
We just had an, a long winged bat. Next from Alina Craft, I grabbed this really cute, they call it wishing bottle, but it's like a mason jar die and it is a shaker. It's much bigger than I thought. <laughs> But look how cool it comes with the lid as well as some labels. And you can see here, you can make it into a shaker. Really nice. And here are the examples that they have. Next, I have these really cute ghosties. It's just a set of different ghosts. And like I said, I am a sucker ghost this one comes with matching hat and broom candy and a bow or a bow tie I guess so they're like accessories for the ghosties look how cute I love this guy here last thing I have are these toppers I love buying these because they're basically just die cuts and I love this ghostie that came with it and there's another one here somewhere. Oh, he's floating around. <laughs> Let me see if I can grab them. Cute, right? So, this also comes with a tree and a haunted house, a couple of bats, pumpkins, and a kitty cat. So I'm going to leave it here because we're probably about 15 minutes into the video. I don't want to make it super, super long. I will be back with another AliExpress haul video. Don't you worry. <laughs> but I will link everything in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And until my next video, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.